Wayne Rooney has been announced as the new manager of Plymouth Argyle. The Manchester United legend has penned a three-year deal, according to Fabrizio Romano, with the championship club. Rooney was confirmed as the boss of the Pilgrims today, four months after he was sacked as Birmingham City manager. The Premier League icon's time with Birmingham was catastrophic, winning only two of his 15 games in the dugout. His 83-day stint at St Andrews went some way to cementing the club's fate of relegation at the end of the season. When Rooney arrived at the club they sat in sixth place in the championship but his terrible run of results, coupled with similar form from his replacement Tony Mowbray, saw the club tank to 22nd place. Read more in FOOTBALLCAMPER winner VW Campervan or £40,000 cash alternative from just 71p with our discount This is War Doom 10 Hag fights back at Critics Amp, claim they have no sense of reality but Rooney, 38, has been given another chance in the division by Plymouth, who narrowly avoided the drop themselves this season. In an announcement on the official club website, Rooney said, Taking this role at Plymouth Argyle feels like the perfect next step in my career, and I would like to thank the chairman and board for the faith they have shown in me. This is an opportunity to be part of an exciting project. I look forward to helping to build a squad of players to play expansive football, and to entertain the Green Army. I have experienced firsthand how talented the existing group of players is here, and also the incredible atmosphere at Home Park. Most read in football TEN Hag latest Man United to sack manager after FA Cup final, Parch lined up as a replacement key appointment Kieran McKenna feels he will replace Ten Hag with merry-go-round to follow boots to fill inside Foden's rise to fame from trophies to money. Nickname given to him tough luck, Everton could be saved by rival Premier League owner as takeover talks confirmed best free bet sign-up offers for UK bookmakers Wayne Rooney's managerial record a look at Wayne Rooney's time in the dugout. Twenty twenty to twenty twenty two, Derby County games in charge, eighty four wins, twenty five draws, twenty one losses, three eight two oh two 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 oh two three D. C United games in charge, fifty three wins, fourteen draws, thirteen losses, two six two oh two three two oh two four Birmingham City games in charge, fifteen wins. 2 draws, 4 losses, 9 the club is on an exciting long-term journey, with a progressive plan in place. I am grateful for the opportunity to be part of it. I can't wait for the championship season to start in August. BBC vs ITV who wins in Battle of Euro 2024 teams the home park outfit had been searching for a new boss after sacking Ian Foster last month and have identified Rooney as their ideal candidate. Plymouth Chief Neil Dewsnip is understood to have been the driving force behind the deal, having worked with Rooney as a coach at Everton's academy. Sun Sport understand that Sheffield United manager Paul Heckingbottom also held talks with Argyle over the vacancy. While Plymouth had also been linked with ex-Hull boss Liam Rosenwa, who supposedly turned down the move to Home Park.
As well as his time with Birmingham, Rooney previously held the management roles at Derby County and MLS Side D. C. United, having played for both clubs during the twilight of his career. Rooney's time in the States came to an end after he failed to take D. C. United to the MLS playoff final, ultimately leaving by mutual consent. And his time with Derby was clouded by ownership issues and financial breaches that led to multiple points deductions with the former striker at the helm. As a player, Rooney amassed an incredible trophy cabinet, winning five Premier League titles, five domestic cups and the Champions League at Man United. And while he will now have a busy summer ahead of himself preparing for the new season, Waza will have to balance it with his media commitments. Read more Sun S T O R I E S H A I R hair trolls tell me to shave amp, call my body hair disgusting, but I think it's iconic cheap eats full list of cafes restaurants where kids can eat free or cheap this half term the 120 time England international will be joining the BBC for their coverage of Euro 2024 this summer. Rooney will head out to Germany with the likes of Gary Lineker, Joe Hart and Cesc Fabregas to cover the highly anticipated tournament. BBC and ITV's Euro 2024 lineup in full here's how each channel will line up. BBC presenters, Gary Lineker, Alex Scott, Gabby Logan and Mark Chapman ITV presenters, Mark Pugach and Laura Woods BBC pundits, Alan Shearer, Micah Richards, Rio Ferdinand, Ellen White, Frank Lampard, Ashley Williams, Wayne Rooney, Joe Hart, Cesc Fabregas, Thomas Frank, David Moyes, Rachel Corsi and James McFadden ITV pundits, Ian Wright, Roy Keane, Gary Neville, Karen Carney, Graham Saunas, Eni Aluko, Ange Postico Blue, Danny Roll and Christina Uncle BBC commentators, Guy Mowbray, Robin Cowan, Vicky Sparks, Steve Wilson, Steve Bauer and Jonathan Pierce ITV commentators, Sam Matterface, Clive Tilsley, Seb Hutchinson, Pian Mullenstein and Joe Spate BBC co-commentators, Danny Murphy, Martin Keown, Jermaine Genus and James McFadden ITV co-commentators, Lee Dixon, Ali McCoyst and Andros Townsend Sun Sports Transfer News LIVESTAY in the know this summer with the Suns transfer experts. Bayern Munich lineup sensational transfer for Jack Grealish to team up with Harry Kane under X-Man City star Vincent Company Aston Villa are reportedly close to resigning Ross Barkley on a permanent basis. Arsenal want to sign a new striker before their preseason tour. Follow our live transfer blog for all the latest deals, gossip and exclusives.